first of all, I would like to thank you for awarding me this opportunity to speak up at the EU. The partition of India into India and Pakistan in 1947, and the evident manner in which the governance of Kashmir was determined in 2011, led to over seven and a half decades of unrest. Several United Nations resolutions and violence across the line of control in between Indian states, Kashmir, and Pakistan administration Kashmir. Kashmir is literally burning right now. Young men are losing their lives. Suicide rules have and would further change the very nature of composition of what we call the Grand Kashmir State. It would be too late if we make action next year or the next <coughs> year after because the imperialists <coughs> would further annex the territory of political means thus <coughs> altering its very identity. Kashmir is not a violent issue between, between India and Pakistan. Yes, both parties have to be around the politics of it since the administrative two parties of Kashmir, but the reality is Kashmir is an international issue <coughs> as has been recognized by the United Nations Security Council resolutions. India is a vehemently trying to <coughs> pursue the role of the community, particularly the United Nations would recognize that the issue of Indian military in Kashmir is its internal matter. However, New Delhi has miserably failed to sell its narrative to the world. Despite denial of access to the territory, the international media has regularly been reporting about the humanitarian crisis in Indian occupied Kashmir and the killing simply continued by the Indian security forces. Over the years, the Kashmir issue has been brought to various human bodies, including the United Nations Security Council and the United Nations General Assembly. The UN has repeatedly called for the peaceful and lasting solution of conflict and has <coughs> offered the assistance of the state, legislation, and confidence building measures. However, this issue remains with the UN and is unsettled dispute for more than seven and a half decades now. The representation of Indian and Kashmir post abolition of Article 37 was in <coughs> contravention of Article 49 of Geneva Convention as well as the Security Council resolutions. Okay, we did that earlier. <coughs> Yesterday, Indian Supreme Court gave a biased 